There. Oh, there it is. You just. Okay. Oh, oh, quick. Oh, okay. Uh, 2015, question one. Uh, express two. It's just a kind of one of these algebraic manipulation things. It's kind of tying everything together in four four question, this, isn't it? So express it's a single fraction in its simplest terms. I think. I think every single person got some marks for this. Um, you're just putting it over a common denominator, aren't you? The common denominator would be 3 minus x times 1 plus x. So you've got two lots of 1 plus x, just three lots of 3 minus x. That's what we need to be adding together. Which gives us, um, what's that, 2 plus 9, so 11. 2x, take away 3x is minus x. And the bottom line is our 3 minus x. 1 plus x. So I think I, you could have multiplied it out, but I think uh, leaving it that right is absolutely fine. So there we go. There's our first one. Part 2. Hence, express uh, that part 1 bit multiplied by another fraction as a single fraction in its lowest terms. Now, the thing that went wrong for lots of us with this is for some reason we seem to have an instinct to multiply out when multiplying out was the wrong thing to be doing. These questions are always all about factorising. So multiplying out is a, a real misstep. Actually, if we're going to be factorising, we know the first part is 11 minus x over 3 minus x times 1 plus x. And we're multiplying that by... So we've got to, we've got to try and factorise this. X squared plus 8x minus this is 3. So 33 is 11, 3, so that must be x, uh, what would be x plus 11 times x minus 3. Does that work? That's it factorised correctly. The bottom line is difference of 2 squares, isn't it? It's 121, take away x squared, so that's 11 minus x times 11 plus x. So the big thing there was to, to factorise as much as you possibly could. Mm. Now we can start eliminating common factors within this. So we have, what do we have? We have we've got, now careful this, we've got 11 plus x and x plus 11. They are the same thing, so we're going to cancel out those top and bottom. We've also got 11 minus x and 11 minus x. There's a 1 there, isn't it? So we can cancel those out. We've also got x minus 3 and 3 minus x. They are close to being the same thing. x minus 3 is what you get if you multiply 3 minus x by minus 1. So by cancelling out those two, but you, you may want to do a middle step where you've got x minus 3 over 3 minus x. 1 plus x. And then notice that is minus 3 minus x over 3 minus x times 1 plus x. You don't need to show all of that working out. But minus 1 over 1 plus x is what we should be doing with our final answer. Okay? Um, as, soon, as soon as you've got a quartic equation or a quartic expression anywhere in all of that, you are in trouble. <coughs> because then the whole thing about factorising again would have been a nightmare. So it's, it's not about multiplying that, it's always about factorising those principles. There we go, and that happens. I'm not being funny, but it's not turning off. <laughs> it, it, Do you it, like hold it down? Uh, yeah, try. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 